What is real masculinity? First things first, let's talk about what real masculinity really means. In today's world, it's easy to get lost in stereotypes and misconceptions about what it takes to be a man. But Stoicism offers a refreshing perspective. It suggests that real masculinity isn't about flexing muscles or conforming to societal expectations. Instead, it's about developing inner strength through the practice of virtues. The Stoics, like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, believe that there are four cardinal virtues essential for a well-lived life, wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. Real masculinity begins with wisdom, which isn't just about knowledge but also the ability to make sound judgments and decisions. It's about seeking the truth and understanding the world around us. So, how can you apply Stoic principles to your journey towards real masculinity? Start by examining your actions and thoughts in light of these virtues. Are you acting wisely, courageously, justly, and with self-control? Are you nurturing emotional resilience and facing life's challenges head-on? Let's begin by clarifying what we mean by emotional resilience. In today's world, men often face societal pressures to suppress their emotions and be perceived as tough or unfeeling. But here's the stoic take on it. Emotional resilience isn't about denying or bottling up your feelings. It's about acknowledging, understanding, and managing them effectively. One fundamental Stoic concept is the dichotomy of control. It divides life's aspects into two categories, things we can control and things we cannot. Real masculinity, from a Stoic standpoint, involves focusing our energy on the former and letting go of the latter. To embrace emotional resilience, we must learn to accept the things beyond our control. By accepting that we cannot change certain circumstances, we free ourselves from unnecessary emotional turmoil. This doesn't mean we become passive, it means we adapt and take action where we can make a difference. In a world that often associates masculinity with ruggedness and bravado, Stoicism presents an alternative vision. It suggests that real masculinity isn't about conforming to outdated stereotypes, but rather about embodying virtue, wisdom, and dignity, qualities that the Stoic gentleman exemplifies. A key aspect of the Stoic gentleman's character is his sense of dignity. He understands that his worth isn't determined by external factors or societal expectations. Instead, it comes from his commitment to living a virtuous life. This sense of dignity allows him to navigate life's challenges with grace and poise. In conclusion, the Stoic gentleman offers us a powerful model of real masculinity that goes beyond stereotypes and superficial expectations. It's about embodying the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control while maintaining a sense of dignity and grace. Before we dive into the lessons, let's briefly introduce the man himself. Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor from 161 to 180 AD, known for his philosophical inclination towards Stoicism. He ruled during a challenging period in Roman history, facing wars, plagues, and political strife. Despite these adversities, he demonstrated remarkable leadership and unwavering commitment to Stoic principles. One of the key lessons we can glean from Marcus Aurelius is the importance of wisdom in leadership. Real masculinity involves making sound judgments and decisions, not based on emotion or ego but on a deep understanding of the situation at hand. Marcus Aurelius exemplified this by seeking counsel, considering multiple perspectives, and making decisions that benefited the greater good. Authentic masculinity requires resilience in the face of adversity, and Marcus Aurelius was no stranger to challenges. 
During his rule, the Roman Empire faced numerous crises, including the Antonine Plague and military conflicts. He maintained his composure, leading with courage and fortitude, and encouraged his subjects to do the same. In times of crisis, he exemplified the stoic principle of enduring hardship with dignity. Real men, according to Stoicism and exemplified by Marcus Aurelius, practice humility and self-reflection. They acknowledge their imperfections and continually strive to improve themselves. Marcus Aurelius kept a personal journal known as Meditations, where he reflected on his own shortcomings and the Stoic principles he aimed to live by. This practice of self-reflection is a powerful tool for personal growth. One of the most powerful ways fathers can nurture real masculinity in their children is by leading by example. Children learn not only from what we say, but, more importantly, from what we do. Stoicism teaches fathers to cultivate virtue in themselves, demonstrating qualities like wisdom, courage, and self-control, so that their children may emulate these virtues. As Stoicism highlights, being a good father involves practicing justice and fairness within the family. This means treating all family members with respect, upholding rules consistently, and teaching children the importance of fairness and empathy in their interactions with others. Stoicism teaches that aggression can be channeled constructively. The martial spirit isn't about causing harm for its sake, but about defending what's right, protecting the weak, and preserving justice. A stoic warrior uses controlled aggression as a means to those ends.